In last class, we learned about how to do the installation of the Anaconda and what exactly IDE meaning, how to write hello world program in the notepad, how to write hello world program in, in the Jupyter lab, nothing but Jupyter notebook, how to write hello world program in the VS code. And also we understand VS code is, is useful to write program of any language. As a sample, I got chance to show C language, C++, Java. Similar to that line, even Jupyter Notebook, whatever I am using, this also supports multiple languages, not only Python, it supports multiple languages. But with the default installation of Anaconda, we got Python default, we got it. However, if you want to run, run here some Scala program, there is a Scala plugin is available. We have to install it. Then automatically it starts working. Today, one of the famous language which is mainly designed for the documentation purpose. That is known as Markdown language. If you see the Markdown language, the first point is it is a subset of HTML language. That means whatever you used to do in HTML, those all work we can do with less code, with simple code. We'll try to see how we can do that one. It is used in the GitHub. It is used in the NLP. Okay, NLP is one of the area we are going to learn strongly. And in the GitHub is for everyone. It may be Java resource, C resource, or C++. It has to use this one as part of the version control. In these things, mainly this markdown language is used. And mainly, if you want to develop your uh, explanation perfectly, we need to write here like this headings, we have to write it. If I want to write like this headings, if I have markdown language, my job will be very easy. For example, first one I have here headings, how you can provide the headings. We have standard wise six types of headings, we have it. How many types of headings we have? Six types of headings, we have it. And if I want to write the six types of headings, generally, generally we have to write here in the markdown one hash we have to provide it, followed by hash, one space we need to write it. Then you can write whatever you want, you can write it. Then that will be act as a heading one. Now you can notice I am in the cell of code cell. Here three types of cells are possible. One is code. Second is markdown, third is raw. We know already code is nothing but Python code, we are going to write it. Second is markdown, that is for beautification of your documentation. Putting headings or putting logos or putting your hyperlinks, anything can be possible using markdown. Raw means whatever you typed it, as it is, it will be there. No modification from the tool side whatever you type it as it is it will be keeping that is called as raw let us go for markdown i am selecting the markdown now it is showing as a heading one if i want to execute this one there is a run option is available click on the run or from the keyboard you can use shift plus enter that is a shortcut for running the cell now what type of cell it is Markdown cell. Markdown cell is a subset of HTML language. If I want, let us say, heading 2, I want it. Then what exactly I supposed to do it? Let us say, I am pressing enter. Again, I am trying to copy this one. Copy this one. I am pasting here. For example, I am pasting. Six times I am pasting. Because... I want here six level, six headings I want it. If you notice clearly, only difference I am doing is I am trying to put here, what is this? Two hashes. 
I'm putting here three hashes. I'm putting here four. I'm putting here four. There I'm putting here five. Here I'm putting here six. Six. Then immediately it becomes now heading two. It becomes now heading three. It becomes now heading four. That means size wise it will be changes. Heading five and becomes now heading six. If I try to run this one, you can notice the size difference. It is acting as a bigger one. Then gradually it is decreasing the size, right? So only from your side you did here putting the ashes. Apart from that, nothing you did. If I add here, for example, seven hashes, if I add it, will I get the seventh heading or it will be treated as a normal test? It will be treated as a normal test. There is no changes occurred here. Ashes also showing as it is. Up to six ashes only, there is some special configuration available. Okay. Now, I am going here, then I am also adding here, let us say, one, two, three. Then, I am trying to see it. What I am seeing here? Underline also I am seeing. If you put under the heading three iPhones, if I am putting, or more also, it's okay. But minimum is three is required. If you are putting more also, nothing to worry. Minimum is three. If you want under any heading, under any heading, if you want here, underline you want it, all you have to do is, below that, we have to put three iPhones, we have to put it. Then automatically, we are going to get here, what is that? Underline. Even the goodness of this one is this markdown cell whatever available is suppose suppose you written something like this h1 then heading 1 using html tags whatever I written that is known as html tag I think you might got chance to see somewhere right if I execute this one still it is identifying as a bigger heading so the markdown cell is understanding heading one or not even in the even in the html even in the html if you go and try to observe if you go and try to observe we have here only six types of headings only available this is known as what is this h2 this is known as h3 then i am writing here h3 then this is known as h4 this is known as H5, this is known as H6. So similarly, I am trying to change here H5, then S6. See it, but but which syntax you look it, it is very good for you. Above syntax or below syntax? Above syntax, right? So markdown language making our life a bit simplified. Whatever in HTML possible, that only we are doing it, but we are doing with simple syntax. With simple syntax. Only one hash we are putting instead of the writing the tags, these all things is a bit uh, not convenient for us. Okay. Now, let us go and try to, let us go and try to write the next one. I want here importance. I want to write here what? importance please have a look on this one then i'll talk about the importance 